No, it's okay. I don't feel comfortable. You don't feel comfortable. Okay. I don't trust Tom. I feel like he's hiding something. Isn't there something you have to tell me? I had quite the weekend binge watching some episodes for 90 Day Fiance before the 90 Days. So good, juicy stuff for oh, sure. Yeah. And a world that you're not unfamiliar with. You're quite familiar with this mm -hmm. world. The setting, this world, is not something that you are unfamiliar with, I should say. You've done, you've been here before, and here you are again this season, though, with a guy named Tom. Yep. So we caught up with you, I believe, last in October, and you told us then that you trust Tom. You have no trust issues there, but then, cut to, we see the trailer for the season, <laughs> And you seemingly say, or you don't seemingly say, you say you don't trust Tom in this trailer. Why is that the case? What changed? You know, Tom and I, um, you know, have a unique situation this time around. And um, he knew exactly what I was referring to. And um, in that moment, you know, I'd been trusting Tom, you know. And in that moment, there was something that I felt like he needed to share with me and he hadn't. So I wanted him to, to open up about it. And I just put him on the spot in that moment, um, maybe to try to catch him off guard because mm -hmm. I wanted to see how um, he was going to respond yeah. to what I was asking him. So, yeah, he knew how I felt about that and it hurt, but he did answer very honestly. And was it what you wanted to hear? No, but, you know, that's okay. It's, I accept that now and uh, we've dealt with it, so. Okay. So communication is obviously something that is extremely important for any relationship. Yes be it you live in the same county, city, town, state, adjacent, you know, country. Country, yeah. Uh, and here you are in a relationship with a guy who lives over in the UK, and it seems like communication is your number one problem. Why right. do you feel like communication's been so difficult for you and Tom? Yeah, actually, um, we did communicate a lot, you know, over the, the, the span of our relationship, you know. Um, the four years I knew, we had a great friend foundation, and it really helped um, kind of build our you know, relationship together. But um, yeah, it was getting a little strained. The, the lack of communication obviously was lacking. And, um, you know, we're both busy people. I'm a busy mom, you know, and he travels a lot for his work. Mm -hmm. And I just felt like, you know, it was kind of on his timeline when he wanted to talk. And, mm -hmm. you know, I would reach out sometimes, you know, he was busy or whatever, but, you know, I just, I just felt like I needed more of that openness with him mm -hmm. and, you know, just tell me how you're feeling. Like, it's something, it, I don't want to have to, like, sit around and wait and wonder if something's wrong. Yeah, you know? it sounded I like just, you were playing the waiting game a lot. Yeah, I didn't like that feeling. It wasn't a good feeling. And um, he knew, he knew he had to kind of, like, show me a little bit more respect than that. Yeah. So. Well, you've always yeah. been, you've always said, and you've told us again as well in, around October or so that. You and your heart have always been open to finding yeah. love, but you seem to be unlucky in love a bit. So would you attribute that to the way in which you find love? Maybe, maybe that's how it's been, but um, I've always been very open um, in love. I'm mm -hmm. a big giver, I have a big heart, and you know, I do want that in the end, and um, you'll have to wait and see to find out what right. happens between Tom and I, but um, you know, I, I don't, I think people see a different side of me. They think that I'm kind of desperate and then I'm seeking out for it um, too desperately. But no, I mean, my relationships, um, you know, with Jesse even and with, with Tom, um, they've been very real and they, you know, wanted to be in the relationship too. It wasn't mm -hmm. one-sided. So, you know, when I give my heart, I give it big and, you know, they said they loved me and wanted to be with me and, you know, I just, it felt right. but. Mm -hmm. You know, in the end, uh, you know, Jesse was too toxic to stay in, and um, that's when I kind of opened up to Tom. I felt like I could trust him, and um, you know, we had that journey, and it, it was a beautiful feeling. You mm -hmm. know, that you could, you know, be open and you know, fall in love with somebody that you know has your back in a sense. You know, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, maybe, maybe I am a little unlucky in love. I guess in that moment. Yeah, let's do it. Just no sassy attitude, please. What did I do now? So you mentioned Jesse. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the biggest lesson you feel like you learned from that relationship with Jesse? Uh, the biggest lesson I learned is to hold your power and not give it away mm -hmm. in a relationship, you know, and love yourself first. How long were you in that relationship? Two years. Wow. Two years. Yeah, I was, 
You know, I knew at the end it was it was dying out. You know, it needed to end for me and for my kids because I didn't want to keep going through that cycle. Yeah, you, you know, it was very girls. yeah, it was on and off. And um, you know, actually, when uh, he came to break up, he manipulated me and basically said, you know, I'm coming in the name of love. But I knew, I, in my gut, I knew something wasn't right. And I, I, I was ready to walk away at that point, to be honest with you. So I think he just wanted the last say, or the last word. So, but I walked away and I'm, I'm doing amazing now. So, Good. Yeah. That's wonderful news. Now, what about with Tom? What's been a lesson learned there? Um, with Tom, um, yeah, I mean, I have, you know, a lot of respect for, um, you know, the relationship that we, you know, have and um, I think I learned how to just stay more open and loving for myself as well. You know, you have to, you know, to receive love, you have to love yourself first, you know, and I think telling him what I do want, you know, just in general relationships, I feel like I'm a big yes person. It's hard mm -hmm. for me to say no, but this time you gotta say what you want. What about your girls? What do they yeah. say when you were like, gals, I'm going back on the show? Yeah, yeah. Were they, asked, and, yeah. were they cool with it? Yeah, actually, they were very, very accepting of it. Um, mm -hmm. You know, they just want to see me happy. You've so. actually helped me heal and realize what I don't want. Like, you just pulling out a chair or like, Joe over me. Like, that was very special. You didn't have to do that. So with all your time on the series, though, what has been a regret? Because seeing things back, you probably yeah. have had something that you regret. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So what's that one thing that you wish you could take back? Um, probably the scene um, after I met Tom. You know, we were at a nice restaurant, and, you know, I think I got a little too excited. And, you know, maybe making it seem like I was ready to, you know, Get intimate right away with him, but I just in that moment I just felt like I didn't want to sleep alone, uh -huh. you know, in a in a r other room. It was a huge Airbnb townhome, uh -huh. and there was bedrooms on different floors. So I just, you know, he was being respectful. I understand, but I think it kind of got, you know, in that moment I was just, you know, we know each other for years. I just wanted to, you know, right. have someone by my side, you know, and fall asleep in his arms. Yeah. You know, and then you go chunks of time without seeing each yeah, other. Yeah, right. You want that intimacy, you know. Are getting more insight into your past relationship with Jesse, your current relationship with Tom, and how that's playing out. But what about the relationships you have with your fellow 90 Day Fiance co-stars? I mm -hmm. guess you could call them. Yes. What's is there a relationship with that family? Um, yeah, I mean, I respect them all. Mm -hmm. You know, all the couples have their own unique story and stuff, and. Everybody has different personalities, but um, I mean, yeah. is there like a group text going on? Do y'all um, stay in close contact with one another? I've met a lot of them at events and stuff like that. Yeah. David and Annie are really nice. I uh, was excited to do pillow talk, you know, with them. It's me and Stace, so we got to meet them um, for some things that we did in New York and in LA. So you know, sometimes they'll call and say hi to check up. Uh -huh. um, Russ and Hal, I love them. They're so amazing, oh. and they're cute little baby, yeah, so we always like message each other, like comment on Instagram pictures and stuff like that, so she's like, very sweet, I love her. Angela? Um, Angela, we don't really keep in contact, I see her <laughs> at the tell-alls. Imagine that! <laughs> yeah, at the tell-alls, we just, you know, kind of hug it out and say hi and just yeah. have our little chats and stuff, so she's she's sweet, she's funny. Were she's you at hilarious. all surprised though that she had Jesse's back in a yeah, sense? Yeah, in a reason? sense, but I understand where she was coming from and she had known. Where did you think she was coming from? Well, I feel like because she had known us from the past season together, so okay. I, I think she felt like she wanted to kind of protect what we did have, I guess, in some sense. And, um, you know, I know Jesse was back there in the green room or something. We were filming our segment. Right. So we heard this commotion going on. And I honestly was just like, it's not worth it. Like, yeah, why right. is everybody, like, getting angry about this? Like, I, I appreciated Tim for, you know, standing up for me and protecting me and Avery as well. Right. Um, you know, obviously you could tell she had been through something you know, toxic in the past, you know, it triggered something. Because it went from zero yeah. to 100 like that. But then I didn't want anyone getting hurt. It was just totally. like, I came out on, on set and was like, it's not worth it, guys. Right. Over well, Jesse? Were, like that, please you don't. You were cool. Yeah, I had to whole, be. I was impressed. 
I had to stay strong because I felt bad for Avery. Mm -hmm. Tim, you know, had my ground, but then it's just it was just too much back and forth, too much negativity, and it really wasn't it really wasn't worth it. Yeah, you know, we yeah, all, we all, you know, are there for each other as like a family, and that's why I think they stuck up for me. But um, I don't know. Definitely got the drama. So you have been open to love along the way. It's opened you up to some drama. In this whole process and journey, you've also been very open about plastic surgery. Yep. And I'm sure you receive your fair share of comments from your fans, followers, and spectators, or people that watch the show. When people speak out and say, you look unrecognizable from previous clips or photos that you have posted, how does that make you feel? And what right. do you want to say anything to them, if anything? Right. Um, I've always embraced plastic surgery. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I mean, I obviously get Botox and fillers. Um, and I have no shame in that, you know? Mm -hmm. I feel beautiful inside and out. That's all that matters. Um, if you can enhance it a little bit, you know, to maintain your usefulness, why yeah. not, you know? Um, yeah, I've gone under the knife, you know, a couple times. Um, but I feel it was to fix things that I felt like, like after I had my kids, there was extra skin that you can't, you can mm. lose all the weight you want, but you can't lose that. So, um, you know, I just wanted a more contoured yeah. shape and, you know, you gotta set healthy limits for yourself anyway, regardless in life. So I just thought it was um, time for me to do me. Chrissy, it's your girl, Darcy. Honey, you've got some, uh, you've got a celebrity following as well. <laughs> Chrissy Teigen yes. ring a bell? I love Chrissy, she's amazing. She yeah. is a ball yeah. of energy to say the oh, least. Yeah. And you gals have actually hung out together, is that correct? Yeah, I got to go to her house. Um, oh, just <laughs> hanging yes. with the legends. Yes, she's amazing and uh, yeah. What'd you guys do together? We uh, did a commercial together for Hulu. Okay. Um, there was some other um, people from other shows there, which is really great. Uh, we got yes. from Bachelor, Chris yes. and uh, Derek Huff and um, um, you know, Lauren and Alexi were there as well. So we all got invited to go, you know, for the day. It was amazing. That's she came cool. downstairs all beautiful and she, when she saw me, I was like the last person I think she saw and then she was like, oh my God, Darcy. And she embraced me, hugged oh. me. And she said something really beautiful that touched my heart. She um, said, I really, you know, look up to you in the way that you also raise your daughters. Mm -hmm. Like they're amazing kids, you raise them well. And that touched home. Oh. I, yeah. I, yeah, that's got to, right? Yeah. It does. She was really sweet, and I said, uh, "You're always welcome to Connecticut." So, Aww. yeah, she welcomed me in her home, and she's always welcome to ours. There are rumors that you and your sis, Stacy, are getting your own spinoff series. Is that correct? Um, You've heard those rumors. I've heard the rumors. And but, uh, any truth to that? I don't know if, they, if, it, if it is Darcy. happening or not happening. Give I don't it to know. me straight, girl. <laughs> It would be a great opportunity. I would love it if it did happen. So, you know, we'll see what the future holds. What would you love for it to focus on if you had the chance to have a spinoff? Um, if we were to have one, just family, who we are as people, our family yeah. life, you know, maybe some, you know, love stories. Yeah. <laughs> would be cool. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Uh, and finally, to finish things up, do you have a favorite couple or, or person that has been showcased in the franchise? Um, and if so, obviously yeah, here. I'm actually I'm really excited to uh, see the new couple in before 90 days. The the first gay couple, I think that's really amazing and groundbreaking. Stephanie so, and Erica. Yeah, I think it's going to be an amazing season. Mm -hmm. It's going to really reach a lot of people and you know bring th new things to light. Yeah, I cannot so. wait to see it all yes, play out. I'm me hooked too. already. I mean, I had some access to some extra episodes, yeah. and I was like, yes. <laughs> so Can't good wait. stuff. Thank I know. You. Mm -hmm. And good luck on your journey. Thank you. I'll always uh, appreciate it and keep my eye on the prize. As you should.